about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for today we're gonna give this bedroom a really really good deep clean we're gonna clean our master bathroom our master closet this is gonna be a three-day deep cleaning on all of these areas I actually started debating if I was gonna deep clean my entire bedroom or if I was gonna finish with a few details that we still gonna fix around the house you guys may saw at the beginning that we still have a few uh, finishes finishing touches that we have to fix in our bedroom i still have a lot of plastic on around the windows and we're still debating if we're going to be using the machine to repaint a few areas around the bedroom or if we're just going to use the brush or a roller and in case we end up using the machine that I don't have to recover the windows and plus that is actually helping us right now because we're still debating on adding window treatments um we still don't know if we're gonna use curtains if we're gonna use or if we're going to buy new set of blinds and we need some sort of privacy so those plastics are actually helping me i feel like i have been on a rut for a couple of weeks already and everything around my house it's just getting out of control i'm not sure if it's just because i still need to fix a lot of details around the house like i said at the beginning or if i just have to redo my entire schedule for the week i've been feeling really down lately um but i honestly think that whenever i do deep clean that helps me as well with my anxiety, depression. I'm not sure if I am falling into that category right now, but I need to get my, my house back in order. I did start minimizing with a lot of items around my house, and I feel like having a lot of items was getting me even worse. And now that I am trying to be a little bit more minimal, it's helping me a lot not just the cleaning process not just saving money not just saving the time on cleaning but more of being more productive uh plus the kids are in that stage right now where i'm literally an uber this is why i was saying that this took me three days this is literally real life after three o'clock i have to be on an uber mode <laughs> pick up my kids from school, dropping off at home um, for them to get ready to go to work. And then another one have to go to college and then coming back home, pick up the other one. So it's kind of like I have to do my cleaning in the mornings. So I just not need to redo my entire schedule and trying to work it out in there. Um, it's really hard sometimes to get out of a rut because I am a stay-at-home mom. I have four teenagers. Um, well, the youngest one, he's a preteen. He's 12. I have all boys. And honestly, I'm pretty much 20, well, not 24-7 alone. But 
for the most part they're all doing something and now i'm actually really excited for the little one because he did just join the basketball team at the at his school and so he's at least doing something he's not just in his phone because you know i they're i feel like they're in that stage where they just want to be in their devices and they just don't want to go outside but for right now he's just like going and going and doing a lot of exercise and that is helping him as well but yeah that's what's going on i feel that i just wanted to talk a little bit of how i've been feeling because i haven't been consistent with a lot of my videos the last one that i shared with you guys was the decorating on the halloween and that was the closest thing that i did decorate it for halloween i actually just took it down because i'm really excited that i am going to start decorating for christmas i know that we're not even done with october um but we're getting there one week from now and we are in november now let me know down in the comments do you guys decorate before december um you guys do decorate a few months before do you even decorate for halloween did you decorate it for halloween i feel like i did took my bins out my idea was to start decorating but i was just not feeling it it was just like the stuff aren't still in the bins and now i'm still debating if i'm gonna get rid of a lot of things from like the halloween i said before that i'm not ready to get rid of a lot of my decorations but honestly i feel like probably for the halloween items i'm okay to get rid of a few bins i do have around five bins full of decorating items for halloween but i'm not sure i'll let you guys know later for this cleaning right now i like i said everything around my house my room it's just falling apart i had a lot of dirty clothes up in the on the floor a week before or the weekend before we did go out and everything was just everywhere i have a lot of shoes that i have to clean my husband's boots mine boots they were super dirty and so i need to re-clean the entire thing i'm actually gonna be cleaning some of my shoes as well so i can rebump my closet as well there is a lot of paper that i have to get rid of and just put them in the binders that little container in there with the folder binders that pretty much holds all of my personal stuff like uh, bills everything from like the house the cars insurances and all of that and every time we will go and get the mail i will just like bring it upstairs in the night and i would just leave it on the floor and i'll be like oh yeah i'm gonna go over them and that never happened and it just started building up to the point where i was just like overwhelmed seeing all of a lot of papers and that's what we did right here obviously that's privacy so i had it to blur that area um but yeah we did clean that and i still have to go through a lot of papers that i know some of them they just i just have to get rid of um but since I don't have another system where I can save all my papers and I'm still trying to find a way where I can like save them like on a flash drive. I know that you are able to do that, scanning them and just have them on a flash drive to make less paper. But I'm still debating on or I'm still researching what's like the best option for us. And plus, I also need my husband, too. So he he's able to let me know which are the, are the papers that he needs and which are the ones that he really needs to get rid of. I did went ahead and rearranged everything on this um, where I have the computer. I actually going to be switching that. Uh, but again, we are still under construction and it's not that we have bigger items to fix. It's just that the little details are the ones that are just bringing my my anxiety even higher and i just don't want to start buying more furniture this is actually going to be set up for my office upstairs but again um, i still need a lot of other items that i have to buy to rearrange an office because right now literally i don't have an office i started working from home um 
yes i am a stay-at-home mom but i do youtube full-time so if you're here with me i truly appreciate your time that you're taking from your day to hang around with me i know that life can get hectic in uh, routines and all of that and just with the fact that you are spending your time with me means the world to me in the woods Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope There's a lot of updates that I want to share with you guys and let you guys know what we have been done doing in the house. But again, I feel like when you have a home, you're always remodeling something. And I feel like ever since we moved to this house and started redoing the entire floor downstairs, we started doing construction in the house and we haven't been done ever since and that's what like three years already we're done with one project we rest for a month and then we start with another one is that how it is when you really want to make your home your house a home i feel like that's what we've been doing but the one item that i am really blessed that we were able to do was the flooring uh we've had carpet and i honestly hate carpet it's one thing that i it was like on my priority list and the only area that we have carpet it's in my master closet but for the rest everything else we put flooring we redo the entire laundry and we did some flooring in there and as well well there was no carpet in there there was vinyl but we literally redo the entire laundry room um, like I said, downstairs, we did the entire flooring that I didn't share it anything because we didn't have no channels at that time. But yeah, we did the entire flooring. We did have some carpet downstairs. The flooring has been a blessing ever since we did change the entire carpet to, to, um, floorings. Even the rooms are a little bit colder, uh, this time we were done with the bedroom and again this is real life my husband got home he had to go back to work at two in the morning and i obviously wanted to let him to sleep and i did took a few trips to pick up my kids like i said at the beginning we came back we did some brooming i went ahead and mopped the bedroom we were on like on the golden hour and all i did or i finished on this day was just uh, putting everything away one thing that i've been slacking on i feel like i've been slacking a lot of things, but the one thing that i have to work with is putting things away right when i'm done using them i usually do my makeup in the bathroom that's where i have more light uh the light bulbs from from the the master closet they're a little bit different than the ones i had in the bathroom and you can see in here the big difference from the closet and the bathroom uh, i'm not sure if it's because of the wall color or maybe because there's still carpet in there and it looks a little bit warm but i'm not i'm not sure actually if i'm gonna change that those light bulbs i kind of like it in a way it's kind of like a love and hate relationship where i want more light because there is no windows on the closet but then again that's like the only area that feels a little bit more cozier i've been remodeling my house and uh said that i wanted to look more modern and modern has a lot of light so i feel like that's the only area where i have more warmth around the house the one thing that i have to work with it's putting everything away right when i'm done the bathroom it wasn't even dirty it was just that i had everything outside like 
my makeup, the brushes, uh, lotions, things that I know I have to put away and I end up just like using them and leave them in the bathroom. One thing that I will be doing in this closet, actually I wasn't even planning on giving a deep clean into the closet, but I end up rearranging the bins where I have my makeup. That's the only makeup that I have. And believe me when I said I don't have a lot of makeup, I got rid of a lot of makeup. So that is not even half of the makeup that I used to have. And I don't even know why I have a lot of makeup because I'm always with the same style when I'm at the house. Yes, I do get a little bit more makeup when I go out or when we have like a day night and stuff like that. Or in the night, I, I do try to produce my makeup a little bit more. But for the rest of the days, I literally use the same style all the time. It's just, there is no difference on the makeup that I use. I am going to washed all of my makeup brushes as well and again this was just the first day i focused on my entire bedroom on the papers that kind of took away a lot of the day uh, for the cleaning process just put everything away and then we started with the following day i did started doing some laundry and i've talked before about laundry and how is that that is like my favorite task to do around the house when I'm feeling stressed out, when I'm feeling with anxiety, overwhelmed. I've been folding my clothes even though I don't have a drawer where I'm supposed to put the clothes. 99% of my clothes goes on hangers and the only items that I have fold is um, shorts that I pretty much use every day. Even though we are in winter and I try to use, or you see me most of the times with leggings, 99% of the time I'm always on my shorts. So those are like the only items that I have fold, but for the rest, everything is hang. But somehow when I fold clothes, I feel a little bit more of a relief when I'm feeling stressed out. And that's what was going around with me the past weeks. And that's why you can see a lot of clothes in the, in the closet but it was time for me to clean it i started by just hanging the clothes at the beginning and then i was like you know what i'm just gonna do the entire thing i'm just gonna go ahead and rearrange the items and i know that it might seem like i have a lot of clothes i did um, declutter my entire closet a couple of months ago i got rid of a lot of items pretty much 50 percent of my clothes and my shoes so this is not even half of the clothes that i used to had it's just that everything it's everywhere and i have a big pile of clothes that it's not even folded and then the clothes that it's folded but somehow it helps me to take away the wrinkles from the clothes when instead of having it just in the pile i know that when i fold them they're not going to be as wrinkle as when i have them in piles <laughs> How I've begun to feel 
that I want your attention This time it is for real Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna hold you till the morning comes Oh baby, love me like you did Love me like you did Oh baby, kiss me till I see the light If you're still here with me, thank you. I really, truly appreciate your time that you are taking. I do want to introduce myself because I've been noticing new members into this community and I am super blessed and happy to have you here. I am a stay-at-home mom. My name is Anna. I have four boys. So yes, I am the only girl at the house. So you would imagine if you have only boys, it can be really interesting having all boys. It's amazing though. I will not complain about it because I wouldn't change it in the entire world. I do a lot of cleaning motivation videos, some cooking videos as well. I do love to share my love for decorating my home. Recently, we did started remodeling the entire house. It's barely knew this house it it's not that we don't like it or it's not that we are trying to fix the items it's just that we want to make it our own our home and right now it's just a house uh, we're still doing a lot of new remodelings around the house a lot of diys usually uh, not usually but for the most part my husband and i are the ones that we do the construction we don't pay no one so that's like amazing that my husband he's such a handyman and i'm just so blessed to have him uh we did the entire kitchen so i will link those videos down below we also did remodel the laundry and we are still working on a few other areas we changed the flooring to the carpet to flooring downstairs we used to have carpet as well and we did the entire flooring so there's a lot of things that we still have to do i just wanted to let you know that i am super happy and blessed to have you here with me and if you are still with me and you haven't subscribed subscribe become part of the community i feel like we've been growing this community non-stop and you guys are amazing. I am just so blessed to have you guys around here with me and I promise that I will be more consistent. Again, I just feel like I have been on a rut for the couple of weeks and I will talk to you guys later in this video about what had happened to me. I did talk about it in my vlog channel. We do have a vlog channel. I'm Hispanic, so I have it as a Spanglish vlog channel. Most of the time, I do speak Spanish on that video on that channel, but uh, my kids speak English, and that's why we decided to call it Spanglish. So if you're a Latina, um, go follow us over there. We do more of a blogging style, a little bit of everything. I try to be consistent over there as well, but we're just trying to get things in order, especially with my health. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later in this video. Right now, I just wanted to thank you so much for being here with me and for becoming part of this community as well if you are subscribing or if you're new. And if you're an old friend and you're here with me, Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the support and love that you've been showing to me every single day, ever since you started being with me. Did it seem to do you any good?
done with rearranging and taking off everything from the top shelves i did move the decorative boxes uh, right on top where i had my makeup and i totally forgot that i had this little baskets that i purchased at ikea i actually have and i still am going to use them later on whenever i buy more furniture but i had the idea to use them specifically for the clothes if i had to fold clothes in the drawers but since I haven't bought any of those drawers, I will be using those in here. And I feel like they're just going to look more nice, more organized, even though I do have all my shorts folded. I feel like when you have them inside of baskets, it's just a little bit more presentable and more nice. And you can definitely see what you have. I'm following the method of the, Con the KonMari method, how she folds the clothes. And I've learned so much from her, for, from her book. If you haven't read the book, let me know. But if you've had, also let me know if you enjoy that book. I feel like she just has so much information and it, I just like it. And since laundry, it's my favorite. I'm always trying to look for new options on how to fold my clothes on how to do the laundry and all of that but yeah i am using this baskets in here so they can look a little bit more nice especially because when you go into my closet this is the corner that it draws your attention so i know that you you see my bags in here and my hats and those belts against the wall i did move all of this i was trying to figure out where i was going to place all of that but i end up using um, more baskets for the hats for the belts and then i end up moving my uh, pajamas for this to this side and then all of the bags to the area where i had the pajamas which it's a little bit more cover because that it's onto the other corner right when you open the door to go into the closet and it just looks a little bit more nice and more organized this baskets really saved me like i said i totally forgot that i had them and even though i did deep clean my closet and declutter it a few months ago i ended up putting all of those baskets onto the top shelf because i knew that i was going to use them eventually but i just forgot that i had them so i was like you know what i'm just going to use them right now and eventually i know that i'm going to remove them or rearrange those baskets in another area but for now they're going to stay right there it's working perfect for me and i can still see every shorts that i have in all of the clothes that i have right now i am taking all of my shoes out this was another project that i'll be sharing with you later on specifically how i deep cleaned everything because all of the shoes have different materials and even though i am using the same method on how to clean them it some of the shoes are a little bit different so i do want to share that with you but again that's going to be in a future video right now i did put them outside and i did clean them on that day they were super dirty especially the boots and i just needed to rebump them as well and have them more nice i will be using the broom to clean the carpet i do have a vacuum i have the curvy uh i do have a love and hate relationship with that vacuum it's super heavy but it is worth it i'm not sure about the money though because it is really expensive the only good thing is that you can make payments on it we did purchase it like a couple of years ago so i'm not sure if it's a little bit cheaper now but when we purchased it it was really really high on price but i am not going to be using the vacuum because my hair falls off so much 
that there's always so much hair on the carpet. And I think that's another reason why I hated to have carpet in my bedroom and in any of other areas because again, there's always so much hair. And I feel that when I use the broom, it helps me a lot. And it's a little bit better than the vacuum, even though the vacuum has like those little brushes on the bottom, it gets dirty really, really quick. Because even though I don't have carpet only in the closet, I still use it because you can use that vacuum to clean any type of flooring, vinyl, wood, uh, ceramic, and carpet. So I think that's why I love the vacuum, but then also I hate it because it's super heavy. This was the last load of laundry and it was my husband's clothes for the most part and I still have to work with all of the blankets that I had on the top shelves in the closet. I did want to switch those from there just because they really don't look nice and I was looking for a good baskets but don't want to purchase baskets that later on I would not like them and then I'm gonna end up with baskets that I'm not even gonna use. So I just don't wanna make that uh, purchase and then just getting rid of them. I will be rearranging those in the linen closet and look at these shoes, how clean they look compared to how they were at the beginning. I will be sharing that video later in the future. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you won't miss that video, turn on the bell and that way you can be notified. But we are going to put the shoes back, all the blankets and all the items that I had on the top shelves, we're gonna rearrange those into the linen closet. I do have a linen closet in my bathroom so that it's gonna work perfectly for those blankets. I cannot get rid of none of them, especially the sleeping bags because we do go camping and it's super cold whenever we go camping, so we do use them. It's not that we don't use them, but for the most part in the house, we really don't use a lot of blankets. If it gets super cold, we'll just turn on off the AC, and if it gets super hot, we'll turn it on. So we don't use a lot of blankets. I do use a lot of pillows, though, and I've said it before in, in other previous videos. I've tried to not sleep with a lot of pillows, but I just can't. I always have to have pillows and if I'm not covered with a blanket, I will do it with pillows. Plus, we live in Arizona, so the weather here really calls it for no blankets at all. And this is how my closet end up. I'm super in love of how I rearrange the closet. And I said it every time I rearrange things, but I feel like that's how it is, right? When you have a closet or any area in your house that it is super messy and then you end up rearranging items and just putting everything in order it looks well presented and it just looks much better and you will have a clear vision on what you really want to use every single day when you have everything in order i do love to put the clothes in colors and then from shortest to length like the, sh the shirts and then the jeans by color this is the leaning closet that I have next to the bathroom. I did put everything on the top and eventually I will be switching this from this linen closet, but for right now, this is going to work perfectly. I really don't wanna put it in the hallway closet because I did rearrange that closet as well. That's another video that I will link down in the description in case you want any ideas on how to organize a closet. We took off the doors from that closet. I'm not sure if we're gonna put them back, but when you walk through that hallway, it looks really nice. I did put some baskets in there, but I will link that down below in case you want more ideas.
a quick look of how I did in here and how I organized. I put all of like the camping blankets and the sleeping bags all the way on the back. Usually, all of the blankets that are here, most of them are used whenever we go camping. Um, there's a few that we sometimes use at the house whenever it gets super cold, but if that's the case, usually we'll turn off the air and that, you know, fixes everything. I cannot get rid of any of the blankets because like I said, we do use them. These ones are all curtains and eventually we're going to be moving them from here because I still have to do a little bit of a few details on all of the bedrooms and most of them are going to be like on the kids bedroom. Those were in my bedroom but i don't want to put them in my bedroom anymore so i'm probably going to use them for the kids this ones are for the living room and that one sheer one i cannot remember where i used to have that one but eventually i'll find a window to put it in i do want to share with you guys the process in here um this is going to stay like this well not in the bed i'll probably going to move it in there so we can sleep but i tomorrow i'm gonna make a quick run to the Dollar Tree and get more of these bags. I love this uh, vacuum seal bags. They are super convenient. You can see in here that I literally have three pillows and these are three pillows. So I need another one so I can put all of like the Easter decor, spring slash spring and Valentine's because I literally use those for all those three seasons. And then I still have another pillow downstairs, which it's for like the, um, fall decor which i can't totally get away with this one for halloween but i am pretty soon going to decorate for christmas i know we're still in october but i am dying to decorate for christmas this one's where i'm gonna use them probably in here or some of them downstairs in the living room because we always have to have throw blankets but we're gonna sit like this for today and we'll continue tomorrow following day now we already done with the bed we i did a few changes i used to have that pillow downstairs in the living room but when i purchased it the purpose of it was to put it in my bed so now that one's going to stay in here and i'll probably going to use that one throughout the entire year i really like that it's neutral colored and you can literally use it for all year round um those two were going to go in my bed as well but i'm actually going to put those away with this two uh, that other pillow and then that throw blanket. I did went to the dollar store and purchased a few other bags, uh, vacuum storage bags. I will be putting this one, hopefully they can all fit in one bag and as well as this throw blanket. I know I can reuse this one throughout the entire year as well, just cover the logo, but I'm actually gonna put it away because I do have more blank, more throw blankets that are for Christmas and then the white one that I show, show you guys yesterday that one's going to stay as well. So let's just continue to put all of this away. Do you guys see the difference it makes when they're all in the in the vacuum seal bags? They take less space. They are way thinner. And you can literally storage them a little bit better. I wasn't able to fit this to throw blankets. And I actually had to put the one of the fall pillows with the other two like valentine's and easter pillows because i didn't have any more bags and they didn't fit on this one or this one but that's okay um actually gonna put all of this in the hallway closet i did share with you guys a deep deep clean on that closet and also organizing so i'm gonna link that down below but i'm gonna go and try to see if i can fit this one and i know for sure that I have other bags that I've already opened that I'm able to fit this to. I will do that right now. And last day, we are now deep cleaning the bathroom i'm actually gonna clean just the sink and then the toilet i'm not gonna be sharing with you guys the shower because i did clean it before it really didn't need any of cleaning i actually saw a trick on tiktok on how to maintain your shower clean every single day after you take a shower and you've probably seen that before where you put um 
dish soap, vinegar, and water into a little uh, container that has like the brush. You can purchase those at Walmart. I'll share with you guys later. Um, but yeah, those are the ones. And before I would still use that concussion to clean the bathroom, but now it's like easier to have it in the shower while you're taking a shower because it's easier for you just to maintain it in there. And plus the steam from the hot water helps it. I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about what have had happened to me in the past months. I said before that I've been on a rod. I've been really... With a lot of anxiety, I really don't want to think that it is depression, but I've been feeling really down lately and I feel that that's what it's causing it. It's because a couple of months ago, I had a disease called Bell's Palsy uh, and it was really rough. Basically what it is, it's that the half side of your face, it doesn't matter which one, will paralyze. It literally loses all of the movement and you can't move it at all it just like it looks droopy it doesn't the bones doesn't have the strength to move it and it was really rough on me uh it took me uh probably like a month and a week to recover my sense of movement i did went to the doctor um, to see what was going on at the beginning. I was so in denial and I was just like, you know what? It's probably stressed. Um, I've been stressing out lately and there is really no reason for me to be stressing out. But sometimes we get those ideas on our head that sometimes we just need to talk to someone. And when we don't do it, we stay with everything inside. And that's me. I won't say anything until something bad happens. And it's not even the problem at that moment, but everything piles up that I explode. And that's what had happened on that day. I had a really bad argument with um, one of my family members and in my face just felt it i literally just felt it right away that my face did like a little twick on my lip and then the following day i woke up with that me not feeling the half side of my face again i didn't went to the doctor right away and honestly i regretted not doing it at the beginning because i was super scared not to go with the doctor i know that we have to I really encourage you to do it. If you are feeling down, literally, just go and see your doctor. It's better if you are 100% better because if you're okay, the rest of your family is going to be okay. The doctor told me that there was no medicine for it. It was just a matter of time for it to get better. They did prescribe me medicine though for anxiety and for me to be more calm. I did took the medicine probably like for two weeks and then afterwards I stopped. They also did gave me like a few exercise that I was able to do in order for my face to get back in, in like straight. And they just told me that it would probably take up to a month, three months, or even six months. At that moment when they told me that it would probably take six, six months, I felt really bad. I was getting depressed and I just didn't know what to think about it on that moment. And all I was thinking, it was that I really need to take care of myself because that's what could happen if you're stressed out and you don't talk about it with no one. I do have my husband and I'm just so blessed that he's always here with me and my kids. They were so su supportive. So I'm really blessed that I wasn't alone. I had them with me and they're always supporting me. Sometimes I feel like I don't get the support, but it's just probably me because plus their boys. So it's really hard for them to show their emotions a little bit better than us women, but they are always here with me, supporting me and helping me. And just their support means the world to me. And it actually took a month and a half, no, a month and a week in order for my face to get back in into a full movement. So I was super blessed because my husband did stay with me for a full week just so I was able to recover. And that actually helped me a lot. I did had lesson learned. Now it's like, if I have something to say, I will say it. 
I'm not going to be staying with anything with me. And another thing that the doctor told me is that they really don't know the cost of it. They just uh, are making assumptions. It could be stressed. It could be angered. It could be happiness. So they really don't know a full, full, 100% diagnosed of what is the cost of it. But I'm fully recovered now and I am just so blessed that I am okay and that I'm alive and that I'm healthy. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. I am extremely happy and blessed that you took your time to be with me. I hope I was able to give you a full cleaning motivation that if you had something on the side that you had it to finish today that you were able to do it along my side if you did don't forget to leave me your comments down below um what you did along my side i hope you did enjoy it if you did give me a big thumbs up and if you made it all the way to the end with me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i freaking love you guys you guys are amazing and i will see you guys in a future video bye you're a diamond in the rough shining from within i can tell that you're tough just the side of you when i'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong